Hello, Teacher Alan here, and welcome to our audio presentation on the formation of typhoons, cyclones, and hurricanes, collectively known as tropical cyclones. In this journey, we'll explore the fascinating processes that give rise to these powerful and sometimes devastating storms and uncover what makes them similar despite their different names. Tropical cyclones are immense swirling storms characterized by low pressure centers, strong winds, and heavy rain. They form over warm ocean waters near the equator, typically between 5 and 30 degrees latitude, where the ocean surface temperature exceeds 26.5 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, let's delve into the formation process. It begins with a disturbance, often a cluster of thunderstorms, over the warm ocean waters. As the warm, moist air near the surface rises, it creates an area of low pressure beneath it. As the warm air continues to rise, it cools and condenses, forming clouds and releasing latent heat. This heat release further fuels the storm causing it to intensify and develop a well-defined circulation pattern. As the storm system organizes and strengthens, it begins to rotate due to the Coriolis effect, a result of the Earth's rotation. In the Northern Hemisphere, Tropical cyclones rotate counterclockwise, while in the southern hemisphere, they rotate clockwise. Once sustained wind speeds reach 74 miles per hour or 119 kilometers per hour or more, the storm is classified as a hurricane typhoon, or cyclone, depending on the region in which it forms. In the North Atlantic and Eastern Pacific, they are called hurricanes. In the Northwest Pacific, they are known as typhoons. And in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean, they are referred to as cyclones. Despite their different names and regional distinctions, hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones share many common characteristics. They all originate from warm ocean waters, thrive on moisture and heat, and are driven by the Earth's rotation and atmospheric conditions. As we conclude our exploration, remember that while tropical cyclones can be destructive, they also play a crucial role in regulating the Earth's climate and redistributing heat around the globe.